got a crack right there. Welcome back, viewers. Look at that crack. Man, if I wouldn't have known that, I wouldn't have bought this thing. Look at that. It's a deal breaker. Not really. Welcome back, viewers. In this video, I pull the transmission out, tear it apart, put some seals in it, and then put it back together and let you guys see whether or not the thing goes forward and backwards. It's a mystery. You'll have to wait and see. All right, let's break this transmission apart. I already pulled it apart. I just hit the fitting and it kind of popped. But I've already looked in here anyway. Bearing looks all right. That wear doesn't look excessive. These clutch plates look good. They aren't burn or anything. I'm not a transmission expert, but I'm, I, that's, I didn't buy a clutch kit because I don't think, I don't know, they look good. I'm not going to buy one. Little springs here. All right, let's get started. This is the forward clutch assembly. Here's the forward clutches. I cleaned them up. They were, let's look, I'll show you the, see these little spots? They were like rust scales and they had a slight thickness to them and they pushed, all these had them. And I think it was pushing these apart and locking the front clutch up. I don't know. The front clutch didn't seem like it was um, turning easily. So I cleaned them up good. As you can see, they aren't in great shape, but I didn't have any problems with forward, so I'm, I'm leaving them. Hindsight, I probably would have got some more front clutches, but since I'm in here. Another thing to consider is there's three rings right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So they're different thicknesses. Also, I replaced the seal here. This forward clutch, that's the way this works. And then the seal right there, it's a little O-ring. Those go together like that. And this assembly. Uh, this assembly, like that.
I haven't pushed it in yet, but like that. That assembly is what pushes the clutches together. Like that, and presses against that lip. So, that's how that works. Let me go check what the dog's working with now. Yeah, someone's just walking down the road. You're supposed to put this on a press once it's assembled and check that clearance right there between that plate and that ring. And these rings are size difference to get the right clearance. The ring that was in it is too thick, I think. Right now, that barely fits in there and there's hardly any oil or anything in it. So... I'm going to go with a thinner ring and use this ring somewhere else. Um, I just want to see, I didn't have any problems with the forward. I had problems with the reverse, so I didn't think that I was going to be digging into the forward this much. Also, I replaced these right here. The kit I got came with them. It was like 40 bucks on eBay. It wasn't a very good kit because it didn't have all the all the things that I needed, but it had all the reverse stuff. So we'll see how this works out. Alright, so we got the clutches together. That's that ring. That ring, that ring. And that's in there. Now I'll replace that seal. So let's put that on. yellow all the way around and then this fits in here Let's, I'm going to oil that up a little bit
cap screws 40 to 50 foot pounds I like that span that's good that's older equipment man the newer stuff it's like 32 foot pounds they're like ah 40 to 50 will be alright look at that yeah. what what was that Take a, take a guess, how many foot-pounds? Ah, look at that. How many foot-pounds was that? Was it 30 or 40? No, wait. What am I saying? 40 or 50? Take the wildest guess. I'll give you a hint. It's not 40 or 50. It is precisely... going to be a mystery guys one of those things you will not know here don't look no cheating you just have to wonder about it all right that's done now what let's look at the directions here now we got to put the pump on This will get a new seal. And then we will mate these up the same way. Just like that. I have it marked, I believe. Right there. See my Sharpie mark? I marked it before I pulled it off. I marked this before I pulled it off too. Let me double check my mark. Yeah, I creased it. Can you see that? I'll put a little notch in it with the screwdriver. And I sharpie marked it. I know how these things go. Alright, these get these are probably important torque wise. Because there's that bushing there. Well, one of these is shorter than the others. Too short, too long. So a long goes here. See that long goes there. Short, short. What did they say? Twenty two foot pounds. So, I'm going to do this one. This one matters because of that rubber seal. They probably got it all figured out. 20, 5, there's 20, 22 foot pounds. They probably got it all figured out on this one. Ok, 
because 22 foot pounds isn't very tight. I think we're done for the most part. Right here, guys. Before installing the power, this is a gene. This is really a good idea. Make two guide studs by cutting heads off of two 7 16 six inch bolts. Very good tip from the manual. Let's cut that off. Yes, see all right? Yeah. Try that. I keep all my gas and stuff outside, so just in case you're wondering. I think we're ready. Let's go put this thing together.
see what we got here. Try this at home. I don't think this is a good way to do this. But hey, I don't know. I don't want it. To, I think right there is good. I'll man it from here. Maybe. Are you guys seeing this? I don't want to crawl under there and look. If I miss this, I miss it. But I don't want to crawl under this thing unless I'm fixing it, lift it up, which I'm doing right now. Did that just go in there that easy? Really? Did you guys get that? I winched it up from this hole in the strap. You see that? See those two splines right there? I don't know if you can see them right there. Those two line up with two inside that housing. I'm trying to line them up.
Well, if you've seen the end of the video, you've found out that it goes forward and backwards. Next video, I'll be doing hydraulic cylinders, and I'll take you through that process, through my process of it, um, and show you the successes and failures of the whole thing. So check out my next video, subscribe, check out my next video.